Yo, so a lot of people struggle to even make one sale online and that's totally understandable. And even just that one first sale feels like one of the biggest accomplishments ever. So just imagine how these people must feel with their store that's made $20 million or more. I mean, online, we can even find valuations of 100 to $250 million using the drop shipping business model. So in this video, we're gonna uncover a store that has stood the test of time using the drop shipping business model. So if this is your first time on this side of YouTube, or if it isn't, you probably see a ton of different dropshipping gurus left and right telling you different things on how you can grow your business. And while they all may work, it can be really overwhelming to take in so much different advice. So I figured this store right here will be a perfect example as to why it's more important to just do. I'll summarize 99% of the self-help content out here and tell you that the answer really is to just do it. Nike said it best, but they really got it right. Real quick before we begin, tomorrow I am doing a Netsphere podcast for the tier two members with an eight figure e-commerce entrepreneur. He's done 10 million plus in sales just in the last year alone. So if you wanna join that interview live and ask questions yourself, you can sign up for a Netsphere subscription below and you'll also get my e-commerce course for free with that subscription. So check it out, it's super affordable. This is one of my businesses that I really love and I'm active in the community literally every day and just like with the videos I make on my channel I learn a lot from just being a part of the community myself so I can only imagine how much some of you guys would learn and also if you do feel inspired by this video make sure you start your Shopify store ASAP and use my Shopify link to get a free trial now let's not waste any more time and get right into it so the store we're talking about is called inspire uplift and this store is pretty dope if you take a look at it it looks like Walmart or Amazon and this is the first thing that's really interesting about it is that there are approach was always to be a general store. So in the e-commerce space, there's no rules really. You can make your store however you want, but the most popular ways to build a store right now, especially with drop shipping, are one product stores. So you make a Shopify store that is the home of this one product or a niche store where you know you sell products within a category or a general store where you literally just sell any product under the sun, kind of like Amazon or Walmart, right? And not gonna lie, I feel like not a lot of people actually run general stores anymore, which makes sense. I think it's really hard to compete with Amazon, right? It's probably much easier to try to be, you know, like the home of a particular product, but that doesn't mean it can't work. And in fact, if you actually stick with the general store business model, like this store did, you can achieve some pretty amazing results. The benefits of something like this is that you don't have to commit to one product. You can just continue to test different things and continue to get new customers. Even if your customers are coming from different types of products, you can still drive a lot of traffic to your website without having to switch around from one thing to the next. And I really think that's been the reason why Inspire Uplift has, you know, served over 1.5 million customers and has been around for as long as I can remember. They've just stuck to this one store. They haven't deviated and tried new side hustles, a new one product store, a new niche store. They were just like, you know what, let's just stick to this store and make it the best that it can be. And to be honest with you, I don't really think they have the best feedback on a lot of these things. But what I do see is that they're actually improving everything. So now they have a phone number, you know, they have a US address, they have a 24 seven live chat, you know, brand ambassadors. So they've really just taken the approach of massive imperfect action, even if it got them a lot of bad feedback at first, and then starting to continually improve and iterate, which is really in my humble opinion, the best way to build an e commerce business. This is how I've done and for my brands, I have a brand with my girlfriend, I have a brand with some of my friends, and we always start out with drop shipping to test an idea so that we don't have to invest into inventory without even knowing if we're gonna make any sales, and then starting to take things to the next level by using sourcing agents in China to still ship direct to consumer, but add some branding elements and just some better shipping, and then if we wanna take it further, then we buy stock in-house and ship things domestically. So that's kind of the perfect process in my opinion, but it really all starts out with drop shipping. And a lot of people actually think drop shipping is dying because of all these other shiny objects, for example, crypto stocks. And keep in mind, I do all of these things. <laughs> I do like trading stocks. I am well invested in crypto and I have multiple videos about that. So if you do want to see those, make sure you check out my channel and subscribe. But one of my favorite side hustles is drop shipping just because of the potential, right? I mean, if you can invest $2,000 into testing some products and find one that you can actually build a legitimate business out of, that could give you cash flow for years. So now let's talk a little bit about their marketing strategy because I think we'll actually learn a lot from that. So first of all, with similar web, we can see that they got nearly 
600,000 visits this month and their estimated revenue is 15 to 25 million dollars a year so a lot of you guys ask me Ari how do you come up with these estimates and some of you are even like oh this is bullshit you're lying to your subscribers but as you can see this is literally what similar web is telling you they know just like I do that most e-commerce websites have a one-to-one -one ratio of visitors to sales that may be hard to believe for a lot of you guys that don't have e-commerce stores but that's how it goes I know that that's hard to believe if you've never actually had an e-commerce business but that's usually how it is so no I'm not lying and I always make sure to state that these are estimates but what's really interesting about this website is that most of their traffic actually comes from Pinterest which is a platform that's very undervalued in this space I mean most people are talking about TikTok ads, Facebook ads, and maybe a little bit of Google ads, but nobody's really talking about Pinterest. Even though they have 3.6 million followers on Pinterest, that's pretty ridiculous. And they get 10 million plus monthly views. But what I want to highlight most about this is that they're mostly running print on demand products. So it's almost like they're focusing all of their resources on print on demand, which is kind of cool. I mean, these types of t-shirts apparently just do really, really well on Pinterest, judging by how well this brand is doing and even on TikTok, they're starting to post a little bit and, and posting those same kinds of t-shirts with just some other general products sprinkled in there but i'm actually really inspired by this store no pun intended i mean inspire uplift but mainly because of their resilience and just willingness to improve and i think this business model really allows you to be able to focus in on a business while not getting caught up on an individual product which is pretty cool and that's about it if you enjoy this then make sure you check out this next video right here it's probably going to be similar and you'll definitely learn a lot so check it out hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next one peace